Here's a classic printer, an HP LaserJet 5M. I rescued this from my workplace three years ago when we had a bunch of computers that we replaced. They were several, several years old, Pentium 4 processors, blah, blah, blah. Not very pleasant to use. And of course, the new units do not have parallel ports. We replaced the printer along with the new computer. This printer was deemed too old to keep around, so I noticed that it actually had an Ethernet port on it, an RJ45 connector, and it's actually 10 base T, it's not even 100 meg, so that was pretty interesting to me. I forget exactly when this printer was made, I believe that it was in maybe August 99 or maybe even March of 1999, but... It worked perfectly up until we took it out of the office that it was in. And then I took it to my house, and we have a few computers here that we use. And it was just very nice to have one printer to use on the network. Anybody could access it. And the toner was basically free, because for, for the amount of printing that we do, we never had to replace the toner in it. I will fire it up now. Nice hard power switch in the front. Probably saw the lights dim there. This thing pulls a lot of current. I like the sound of that fan. has a really cool sound. And it's ready. Let's see if I can get an information page off of it. Ding. Menu map. No, no, no. I guess I'll print the menu map and see what happens. Oh, configuration page, that's what it's doing. As you can see, we're actually having a little bit of an issue with the toner that's currently in there. Unless the fuser's gone bad, but I'm inclined to think that it's the toner. So, let's see. Menu map. This is just telling us where everything is in all the menus. test menu, that's what I want. How about a self-test? Test, self-test. So I guess that it classifies a menu map or a, a self-test as a configuration page. That's interesting. It's on the slow side, but still faster than an inkjet.
Let's see. Firmware date code. 1996. Looks like January 15th, 1996. For the firmware date code. Let's see. Memory. We have 100 megabytes. We actually upgraded that. Oh, yeah, there it is. You can see that here. All the SIM slots are filled with 32 megs of RAM. Uh, let's see. Feel free to pause the video and have a look at any of this information. That's just my network information. Let's see. I thought I found out when this was made. Oh, and we got another menu map. Hmm. Well. I suppose we're probably not going to find out when it was made. Let's see what else I might be able to print. Test. test is. I've never done this. And we have the same self-test. This thing did print perfectly when we got it, but like I said, I think the toner is just going bad. Which is interesting, considering, although you can't see it, it is a genuine HP 98X toner in it. It looks awful dirty in there, so that's probably all it is. Go online. There we go. It was putting off a little bit of a burning smell right before I stopped using it, and when I started it up today, but it seems fine now. It was probably just because it was sitting, maybe some dust got into the fuser or into the fan or something. Again, you probably can't really see this in the video, but the paper tray is a little bit lighter in white than the rest of the printer. There's tray one, but tray two, I think, was probably replaced at some point. I thought it was kind of neat how the printer folds, on, the paper folds under that tab. The tray is very solid. I really don't feel like I'm going to break it when I push it in. The whole thing is solid. That thing almost wants to close itself. It's actually there is a spring right there. Very well made, unlike the printers of today. There's a little band here to keep it from opening up too far, and a nice latch to keep the cover closed. And the really amazing thing is that drivers for it still work, at least with Windows 7. I have no idea about Windows 8 or Windows 10. But I'll come over to my computer. And I have the 5M printer added right there. If I go to the printer properties, advanced, there it is. Oh, LaserJet 5. I'll print a test page. There it goes. 
comes right through. It seems to be getting worse every time it prints. Poor thing, definitely needs another toner. But there you have it. It does still work after 16 years. If it was from 1999, I guess it's 16 years old now. Highly doubt that any printer that they're selling nowadays would last even 10 years. It's just a testament to how well they used to build things back in the day. They don't make them like they used to. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video.